we're going to design a pin pad. It may not look exactly like this because we didn't do images like that. But we're going to apply the concept that we just learned for the buttons, J buttons, right? All right, so let's start out. I'm going to create from scratch first. <coughs> Java project. So let's call uh, ATM pin pad maybe. But I want to, it has a topic related then. Let's do J. We talk about grid layout, right? So grid layout then. Okay. So let's call. <coughs> yeah, this can be the name ATM. Uh, keypad or oh, pin pad, maybe. And <coughs> I'm going to create a class that has pin pad, like a driver class with a main to run that. <coughs> and this is going to pretty much just instantiate that, right? Pin pad. Okay, so that should do. For the main, it's going to run the constructor because I called it constructor. So I'm starting, f starting from scratch here. <coughs> like I said, <coughs> we we may not need to worry about the the icon at this point because icon is going to take a lot of codes we already know from the previous <coughs> right lectures. Now we're going to look at just focus on create how many panels that we design we said we need a main panel we call control panel And I'm going to import Java X dot swing to use. So I put the asterisk because we're going to use a lot of J, right? <coughs> we said three panels <coughs> J, PL, control panel, and let's call the top one as label panel, right? <coughs> and J PL button panel. Alright, so let me uh, make sure we understand this by going to the layout again. So the top part is J label panel this part and this part is going to be the button panel and control panel pretty much just the whole thing and <coughs> of course we gonna add JPL control right you gonna add JPL now what should be layout of that control panel first I'm going to add label to the top, right? So this should be border layout, right? To the center. <coughs> Need to import java.awt. 
Let me just do asterisks for now because we may need more, like full layout and something like grid layout. Of course, this has to extend J frame, then it could become a frame, right? <coughs> then we can add this onto a frame after we're done. So I I try to do the top down right method. Because I get to the big scope first, and then get to the small components later. And J frame, you need to do set visible, right? To true, right? <coughs> and of course, we need to do the <coughs> make it full screen, right? Now I have the code for full screen on the previous one. So save some time for typing. So make it full screen from here. Now of course we need to do pack after that. So we want to set full screen to make it visible. You don't want it just to be visible first and then wrap full screen. So we need to do pack when you do full screen like that. <coughs> so we pretty much have to frame with all the layouts that we create. But we need to set layout for your J panel, right? JPL control. Because by default, what's the D layout for panel? Then I need to do the border layout, right? Then we can do the center right there, right? And I also need to add the button right to the south, correct? Button missing and So we gonna take care of the layout for J PL label panel dot set layout to we said we gonna do border layout default is was flow then it is flow then we need to change that why because let me set layout of button and I'll explain why. So we want to set layout to where? That's going to be a button, so we need a grid layout. So this is a new layout we're learning today. So grid layout. And we set how many rows? Fours and three, right? So let's explain why. Four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, right? And this is also border because that's north and south. So that's why I border. Now we understand based on the design that we want. So border layout, we start to add a label. So we need a J label, right? Which is which is according to the design, we just say enter passcode, right? So we gonna say J L B stand for J label, and I'm gonna say let's say abbreviation here is just depends. Just make sure you understand. Some people do JLBL. I want to shorten it to just three. Because I think I understand JLB, right? So name. Passcode. Equals to new J label. Um we can set like this one has four, right? Four pin. But that's the label. So the label is gonna be Enter passcode. And J password, right? Which is J P W passcode equals to new J password. And the size is four, right? Four pins, right? Right there, one, two, three, four. 
and J password is J password field. So I have the label and password field. Now I can take care of that to add them to where the level panel correct and one to where to center and one to the south right which SJ level go to the center and this is going to be border layout dot center J level pass code and now we want to have add this to the south which one go to the south the JPW right passcode so I have that to the south that makes sense now my J button J button how many buttons do we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, 10, 11, 12, if I want to do something else right there. So, of course, we need 10 numbers. We can use loop to help, right? I want to create buttons. So, f I'm going to name J button first. And at this point, I'm not instantiating it yet. JBT and this is num number buttons. I'm going to instantiate in here where I do a loop, then it can assign the values for me, which I need to start with for int i equal to zero. That's I create number zero button, right? I less than how many buttons? Ten, right? So I plus plus then we can do instantiate the button at this point oh. jbt number equals to new j button and just give the values as i if i can do that it doesn't like it because it's supposed to be a string so just make it string like plus like that so i just create 10 buttons after i create 10 buttons i add to where the J panel button panel correct. So I need to do dot add and add where what do I need to add? There buttons button panel. Alright, let's see what we get. It seems like we done, right? I add to the frame already, right here. I add because I do the bottom up, right? I mean, yeah, top down. I need to run this one. Okay, maybe we need to fix the layout a little bit. The pass because the level is too big here, right? Alright, so what we did is we adjusting the size by just uh, take the full screen out and set dimension to 150, 180. And now for the key, we start from 1. Then we can just manually add the rest of the buttons, right? like you want to add two more buttons which is actually we want an empty fields on that one because this is like we do we do the grid layout it's going to add from left to right and this is number zero right mm. yeah, it has to be text J button, it's not J button panel. We need to instantiate JBT first. 